we're continuing this look at Abram, the man that became Abraham. He was a man's man, and there's a lot of things about Abraham. He had great faith. He was willing to sacrifice, which we'll get to. But here in Genesis chapter 14, I believe, is, is one of my favorite stories of Abraham. Lot had gone to Sodom. There had been a war between five kings and four, and, and Lot's city of Sodom and Gomorrah was on the losing side, and Lot was taken captive. And in verse 13 of Genesis 14, it says, Then one came who had escaped and told Abram, the Hebrew uh, that dwelt by the tabernacle trees in Mamre, the Amorite, brother of Eshcol, the brother of Aner, and they were allies with Abram. Now when Abraham heard that his, his brother was taken captive, he harmed his 318 trained servants who were born in his own house and went in pursuit as far as Dan. And then the story goes on, and I mean, this is a powerful story, that when Abram heard what had happened to Lot, truth was, he was facing a much greater army. He had 318 trained servants, but the army that he was going out to fight was even greater. But it says these were trained men. Abram was a warrior. This is a side of Abram that I liked. This was not just a spiritual man, not just a church man. This was a warrior. That means he knew how to fight. He had weapons. He knew what to do. One of the things, if you're going to become a great man of faith like Abraham, you've got to be a warrior. Some of that side of being a warrior is you've got to be a warrior in prayer. There's some things when your family's going through stuff, your children are under attack, your wife might be under attack. You know, I was talking with a man today, his wife is facing some battles. And, you know, sometimes your, your family, your, your children, your wife may face some battles. And sometimes the part of you as a warrior, I know one time my son was in a, a motorcycle accident and the doctor came in and said that they might have to remove his leg I found another room and I went in there and I went to war and I began to say this is not going to happen on my watch my son is not going to lose his leg I began to bind the devil and get a hold of God and I'm going to tell you something he's still got his leg today and there's sometimes men we've got to get our little wimp out of the inside of us and become the men of God the warriors that God has designed us to be sometimes it may be in the community we need to stand up as men and say this is not happening happening in our community no this is not going to take place some communities they're taking down crosses and they're taking down any any resemblances of the church or of Jesus Christ and you know what I believe it takes it takes some men standing up with courage and some warriors saying this is not happening on our watch we're going to stand up and say no we need some warriors today we need some men like Abraham today Come on, put on your armor and become a warrior for the kingdom of God.